one of the baby Hawaiian white pineapples I grow in my garden. Uh, it's probably about six months from harvest for this little guy. Uh, he's getting there. He's starting to look like a pineapple. Uh, that one's going to take a little while before we pick it. Uh, let's go over and find ourselves one that's ripened out so we can talk about propagation. Okay, here we have a, a white pineapple. Uh, it's dead ripe, probably even maybe a little bit past ripe. Could be starting to turn into pineapple wine down there, but this will be a good candidate to uh, take propagation cuttings from. If you take a ripe fruit and you cut the top off of it, you peel the leaves back a little bit around the bottom and stick it in a pot, and variably take and grow. The pineapple is what we call a bromeliad. Uh, when the uh, fruit is ripened, uh, the mother plant that it grew on dies, but the mother plant then produces up to seven offsets. Uh, usually for every pineapple I harvest I get seven plants back again. Uh, so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to take this guy off the plant. Okay, so I've got the pineapple here in my hand and I have one top on it uh, that we'll be able to use for propagation, but down here on the ground we have other uh, Raccoon and basil suckers that have uh, grown on the plant too. Um, there we go. I broke one of the raccoons off. Uh, they're right down near the base of the pineapple uh, on the stem. There we go. There's another one. Took that off. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Here's a third raccoon right at the bottom of the pineapple. There we go. Pops right off. Hmm, smells nice. Okay. Well, now that we got our suckers pulled off the pineapple plant, next thing we need to do is uh, remove some of the leaves from the bottom of the stem here. And we're trying to get ourselves a little bit of a stick down there on the bottom without foliage on it that'll uh, help us push it into the soil. And also, if you look real close, when you're doing this, you'll see that there are vestal roots, little bitty baby roots that get exposed. They're right down in there. Sometimes they're growing pretty hard. Okay, so here I've got enough sticking out the bottom of this one to be able to go ahead and use that for propagation. Um, let me go ahead and peel down the other four while we're at it here. Like I said, usually when you're harvesting a pineapple, you can end up with uh, Oh, six or seven um, pieces for propagation. So, on a good crop, healthy pineapples, every time you harvest, the math is seven to one. That's pretty geometric. Um, you can increase yourself into the into a pineapple farm from a pineapple garden real fast if you replant everything that you get. And you want to watch out for uh, any kind of insect infestations. We get Chinese wax scale in pineapples here. I see a little bit of it on this one. I just flaked it off. It can be sprayed with oil to get rid of it. Uh, it's just a tiny bit on this. I took it off with my fingertip. So you want to make sure that there's no diseases, that you haven't got any serious insect infestations or anything noxious on your uh, pineapples because otherwise you start spreading it around while you're growing them. Okay, here we go. That's simple. This is the tiny one. That's a cute little sucker, isn't it? <laughs> uh, if you're in good pineapple country, obviously the easiest way to do this is we just take those uh, suckers I prepared. Uh, we dig a little bit of a hole in the soil and uh, push the sucker into the soil and then apply some fertilizer around the base of it. Um, I ordinarily use uh, either pelletized chicken manure or I'll use a citrus food for the purpose of growing pineapples. It seems to work pretty well. Here in uh, Puna District of Hawaii, these things are almost weeds. They, they will spring up almost anywhere you push them into the ground. In this case, I'm using an industrial weed block fabric to keep the weeds down between the pineapples so we have a nice clean crop over here. Well, currently, I don't have any spots out in the garden where I want to put any more pineapples right at this moment. 
Um, I will have some room between some new coffee plants probably in maybe six months or so. So in the meantime, uh, and for the sake of those of you who are trying to grow pineapples in the mainland, uh, you will definitely want to use containers. And I'm going to grow them in the containers here for about six months in my nursery. And then I'll take them and transfer them to a permanent home. But uh, uh, in your case, the pineapple will have to stay in the container if you're not in a tropical environment. And so it's a pretty simple proposition. We've stripped off the leaves from the bottom of the pineapple already. I've got a bucket here that's filled with a conventional potting soil. All right? I'm just going to dig a hole down there in that potting soil. And I'm going to push the soil up around the bottom of the stems. Uh, same here. I mean, this is, uh, this is about as easy as it gets. Um, when it comes to growing plants, there's not a whole lot of stress with any of this. It's pretty simple. Uh, I think at this point I started off here in the garden uh, with maybe you know, five or a half dozen white pineapples that we bought at the farmer's market several years back, and now I believe I'm up to about 158 pineapple plants out here in the garden. All right, now that we've got that finished, then we'll need to use some fertilizer, something that'll last a little while. Now, if you like organic growing, here I have some pelletized chicken manure that should hold up for probably three, four months in these pots. Or if you prefer synthetics, here's a time-release pelletized synthetic fertilizer. Um, but basically, you put about a tablespoon of this stuff here on the surface of the soil. Um, here in Hawaii, we put it on the top of the soil because it's really wet over here. And if we put it down too deep in the pot, it will run out the bottom and go below the plant fast. Um, and if you're working in drier conditions, you'll probably want to embed the fertilizer in the soil. Now, I've got a 7-inch pre-cut weed block disc. Uh, it came from a nursery supplier here. And I'm going to take this and slide it around the pineapple's spiky little leaves and uh, stick it down inside the pot. This will allow me to uh, uh, pretty much leave these pineapples on their own for the next six months without having to worry about coming in here and weeding them or fertilizing them. Uh, this will take care of them pretty good if the disc is fitted down properly on top of the soil. It's going to work really slick. Here's a, another one of them here. Actually, lift this little guy just a little, push it back in. There. So, I think you get the idea. Um, here are uh, two of the pineapples that have been planted. Again, we're using the weed block discs inside the pots here. Get a look at that. So you got potting soil, fertilizer, pineapple cutting that's been pushed into the pot and the weed block disc put around it. These are going to be good uh, easily for the next six months over here sitting on their own. The rainfall in this area is going to take care of watering them. Um, so whether they're in the pots or whether they're in the ground, expect it's going to take probably about two years time of frost-free weather from this point before you have pineapples on top that you can harvest.